Soap Fence. So today we're going to go over how we set up our custom reptile enclosure for our chameleon. We're getting a Jackson chameleon because that's what we wanted, but this can pretty much be a setup you can use for any chameleon. Um, so if some of you might recognize this enclosure, this used to be Missy's enclosure. Yeah, our jungle carpet python. Yeah. It used to be a two-story enclosure. It's uh, four feet high, tall, um, two feet wide, and two feet deep. So perfect size for our chameleon. We didn't plan it that way. It just happened to work out perfectly to have uh, a proper size chameleon enclosure. But yeah, there used to be uh, like a two-story in the center and a bunch of branches in here, but it's uh, we have Missy in a different enclosure at the moment. So right now, we are we don't have the chameleon yet, of course not, because we got to make sure that our temperatures and humidity and everything, our irrigation is going to be perfect before we bring this thing home. But uh, we have a UVB bulb in here. Uh, our temperatures are perfect, so unless it changes during the winter time, uh, I'll add a halogen bulb if I need to, but as of now, because it's summertime, oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> So I have, uh, we got, we're gonna do a dripper system. And uh, we got the biggest one that they sell. I made this shelf yesterday, fabbed it out of stainless steel, got it all welded up. And that way it will hold our dripper system. I'll put it on top. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna add uh, another vent here. So another like midway up vent. And we have one on the bottom, and we might, if we need to, we might add one uh, one, another one on the top and bottom. <laughs> so I might have three more vents added to this. Just and to create more airflow if needed. So this thing is pretty watertight, so it won't uh, have any issues with it constantly being moist. Yeah, we got no a rot or nothing. We have a uh, we have a waterproof bottom that's. Uh, cocked all along the edges. Yeah, we got silicone cocked on on all the edges, corners, so it's super tight. Water seal, and then uh, we have, um, what are they called? I always forget the name. All people. Laminate flooring? Yeah, That's like laminate yeah, flooring Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like one by one square foot tiles. And we put them everywhere in the enclosure. So it's very watertight. And then we've got a, a live plant over there we're going to put in. This one's the umbrella plant. Yeah, this is an umbrella plant. It's okay to use with, uh, well, it's not okay, it's great to use for a chameleon. Um, picked up at Home Depot for like 25 bucks. So it's like three feet the, tall, definitely large enough, so we don't have to buy a bunch. We're going to have like the dripper system to bring down on the leaves all around and whatnot. Trim it up to make it fit great. And then we'll show how... We're gonna repot it and um, the fact that you wanna get rid of the other soil and everything. So we'll exactly. show all the our stuff. The soil steps cannot there. have any pesticides. Well, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get into that later. Make sure. We'll come back to that. Yeah. <laughs> first going to want to wash away all the soil that your plant comes with. Um, that soil tends to be used with pesticides and things like that. So you want to make sure um, that you use an organic one. Something that doesn't have pesticides in it or those perlites. Yeah, they're little like white granulated pieces and that is not good for your animal. Do not get that. So you want just organic dirt. <laughs> not saying you have to get this organic soil, but just get one without perlite in it. So then also when you, um, in these enclosures, because you're misting a lot, it's often that your plants get overwatered or that there's too much water in the pot. So you'll want a pot that has good drainage. Yeah, this so if this one's got a little on hole. Bottom. Or if it doesn't have good drainage, what we're doing is we found little river rocks. We washed them in bleach water for like 30 minutes and then we washed them four times with hot water to make sure they don't have any more bleach on them. They don't smell like bleach, so they're good to go. So what we're doing is we're putting about an inch or so of rocks down here. It just allows for if there is excess water in there, it's gonna sit on 
with the rocks rather than up in your soil with your roots, so your roots won't rot. Um, and then we've got these other rocks that we're going to put on top. So after we pot the plant, um, we're going to put these on top so your, when your chameleon comes down, they don't eat this soil because they're not supposed to be able to eat this soil. If they eat reptile dirt, that's one thing, but... Yeah, we're using eco-earth in the enclosure itself. Eco-earth doesn't have any nutrition to your plant, so you need soil, but soil is bad for your chameleon. So, you don't want them to eat it, so the rocks keep them from having contact with eating it. reason why we're doing a live plant is because it really helps boost humidity. Also, um... A little bit. I mean, not a lot, but I mean, anything's enough. And your chameleons will sometimes tend to eat the plants, whether they're live or fake. So if they eat the live ones, then that's okay, as long as you do a plant that is good for your chameleon. So our umbrella plant is safe for our chameleon. And there are a, uh, there's like five or six that I know of that are also, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and you just go in their garden section, they should have them for fairly cheap. So yeah, we're gonna wash off our dirt on our plant and repot it and we'll probably come back. Okay, that's something we should definitely probably talk about. Doing some research about um, having live plants with reptiles. When you do get your plant, this is our umbrella plant, we're not gonna use any of this soil because it does have pesticides in it. That's why we did get new soil. All this has got to go. All the soil, and we're even going to kind of lightly hose off this plant itself just in case there's any pesticides or anything like that on it. We're going to give it a shower. Yeah, a little, uh, little tree shower. Alright, so I've got my umbrella plant repotted. Um, I'm going to show you guys what my umbrella plant looks like in this pot. So like I said, I've got an inch of rocks to keep the plant up out of the water. I've got the rocks over my organic soil that's pesticide free and per perlite free. Rocks covering it so the chameleon can't eat the soil. And I gave it a nice shower so it's all clean, no pesticides. And yeah, I rinsed out all the old soil, literally unpotted it and then took a hose to it to get all that dirt out in between the roots. So it is parasite free and pesticide free. So it is good to go in the enclosure. So I decided to go with four vents. I figured more ventilation better. Rather have too much and too little with the chameleon. So I got two in the bottom, two about three quarters of the way up. Put vents on the back side, that looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and put my plants in, finish my irrigation system up with my dripper, and uh, should be about done. Alright, so here's my irrigation system. I decided to do a dripper. We got a huge, large dripper. Come on, drip. Boop. Well, we have uh, this valve's open. I have a little T on there. And then there's a nozzle right here. And one over here that I have suspended from the top on some chain. And right below the dripper system is our live potted plant, which is an umbrella plant. I'm sure I've already mentioned that. So that, that will catch all the water, or some water. And uh, we've got all these wooden dowels and sticks going across. So our chameleon have plenty of places to climb on. We've got this cross. And we got our vines running through. We got all these vines coming from the top to the bottom. And we got our another wooden dowel for him to climb on. Some more vine that's attached to that. The only thing we haven't added is uh, my stainless steel water bowl. It's going to go right there. Well, there isn't going to be water in it this time. This is going to be for um, his food dish, so he'll be able to get on that branch and eat on it, or the vine. I'm going to scare the vine down as well. Yeah, that's what it looks like, along with our the ladder we just finished. That was the, uh, the cherry on top. <laughs> 
I can't wait to see him climb on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm super happy. I think it's gonna work out really good. I can't wait to get the chameleon now. Should be like a week or two and we'll have him, which is gonna be a Jackson chameleon. Yay! If you like the video, strike that like button. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Uh, <laughs> Follow us on Instagram at Talking Serpents and subscribe for more. We'll see you next time. Bye bye!